guys, it's Kelly from Cards by Christine here with you on a Technique Thursday to show off the pinwheel card. Now this is a fun fold card, um, which sometimes I'm like, yeah, that's a technique. Other times I'm like, well, it's just a fun fold, but a fun fold is a technique. I don't know. So I hope you enjoy it. I've been seeing this style of card a lot recently. Um, it's come out, I'm sure it's existed for a long time, but it's been very popular recently. So I hope you enjoy it. So let me show you. So here's the pinwheel type of feel. And this card, so it comes in an envelope. Where did I put the envelope? Um, it fits in an envelope. It fits in a standard A2 envelope. And then you take the card out and you've got four different scenes as you turn the card. So, isn't that beautiful? So let me explain to you how this is created and give all of the credit to the talented Susie Stocks, who is a Be Happy stamper on Deb Norman's team. So actually, she created this card. She designed it and sent it to Chris. As a Be Happy stamper, um, there's a lot of different perks and activities that we do together on the Be Happy Stampers Facebook page. One of which is a one card swap where you basically put your name and address in the comments and you send a card to the person whose name is before you or after you. I don't, I don't know. Logistics. Um, but so she got Chris's name. So she created a card to send to Chris and this was it. And so I am not even going to pretend to take credit for this stunning card, but I am going to show you how to create this pinwheel card and kind of walk you through the elements that she used to make it so, so beautiful. So I'm gonna put that off to the side. You are going to need four pieces of cardstock. I am using basic white, she used basic gray. Um, obviously this is going to be your card base, so you want it to be whatever color corresponds with what you are looking to make. You are going to have one sheet of four and a quarter by five and three quarters scored at two and three quarters, three and a half, four and a quarter, and five, okay? Then you're going to have three additional pieces of four and a quarter by two and three quarters. So I've got this written down and I see I made a mistake on here, but if you're more of a visual person, this is what you need. Four and a quarter by five and three quarters, scored at two and three quarters, three and a half, four and a quarter, and five. And then four and a quarter by two and three quarters and you need three of them, okay? Now I'm gonna show you, and I'll actually leave this here so that you can continue to see that. So the first step you're gonna do is take your biggest piece and fold it on the score lines. I do advise that you bring in your bone folder so that you get nice crisp creases here. This is essentially going to be the base of your card and this is going to be the start of the base of your card. You're going to score on each of these lines and then put a dab of glue onto here. And then close your box. Let that sucker dry. Okay. Now, all you need to do is glue a tab onto each of the sides of the box. Okay. So, I am going to take... We. And adhere. 
Now, if you're using liquid glue like I am, you have, mm, I don't know, a 10 second wiggle room while it kind of sets and dries. So I see here I kind of wiggled a little bit, not in the right direction, um, so oops, but um, it can work both ways. It can be really great or not so great when you make a mistake. Oh my goodness, you guys, I did this the wrong way. Ha, 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 ha. Learn from my mistakes. Um, so there is a right way and a wrong way to do this. I'll explain what I did as soon as I have this glue drying. Okay. One more side to my box. So I just had mine glued on the wrong portion. But essentially, when you're done, you're gonna have this base that, and I'm probably gonna go in and burnish one more time on every fold so that when the recipient gets it, it's all nice and, you know, crisp and creased and beautiful. Just kind of rotate it around and boom, you got yourself a pinwheel card. Okay, see that? That's how it functions. So Cool, isn't it? So now the fun part, you can decorate each of these flaps. So how Susie did it was she created this scene on this flap. Now she's using the Peaceful Place Suite. Beautiful. Um, the Peaceful Place Suite includes the stamp set Peaceful Cabin, which is what she stamped here in basic gray, and the corresponding dies, um, which cut out the scene and also has these um, evergreen trees and this little fence here as well. Um, the stamp, may you enjoy the peace of this beautiful season, is also from this bundle, and so is this Christmas tree here that is used to embellish. Now, she also used the designer series paper, which is called Peaceful Place Specialty Designer Series Paper. The reason why it's a specialty paper it's because it's got this beautiful silver foiling. Oh, sorry, I'm like not on the screen, but you can still see the foiling. Um, so it's got this beautiful foiling on um, most, it's on one side of each of the sheets of DSP. So it depends what side of the paper you use. But um, so on the larger portion of the um, paper, you've got four, by two and a half, the smaller portion is one and a half by four. So you're gonna need four of each of those to fill the panels. Then she embellished with these subtle shimmer sequins and some red rhinestones. This card is so stunning. It is absolutely gorgeous. And when you break it down into its pieces, it really is kind of simple, but it just is so beautiful because of its unique complexity, if that makes any sense. So you can make all sorts of different, you know, obviously this one's more muted and neutral based on the, um, based on the bundle that she chose to decorate it with, but it's, it's really a great card base or um, fun fold technique that you can use for a lot of different cards. So I hope you enjoyed this card. If you've ever made a card like this, please share pictures in the comments. Um, or if you were inspired to make it because of this video, 
um, or because of Susie's beautiful card, please um, share your creation. So I hope you have a wonderful Technique Thursday and you can catch Chris for some live card making later tonight.